Okay, right off the bat, I'm just going to apologize. I cannot find my Assassin's Creed Odyssey footage, so I'm just going to use Gotham Knights. I've been seeing some sentiments and some comments uh, around the Assassin's Creed conversation. Why some people are saying it probably will be best for you know Ubisoft uh, to go ahead and cancel Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now, is this game going to be a bad game? To be very honest, as much as people have said, you know, Concord was not necessarily a bad game from a mechanics perspective, I can probably say that Shadows should not inherently be too different from other games that have been successful under the same umbrella, like Odyssey, Valhalla, Origins, and even Mirage. I don't necessarily think that that will be the problem, even though Ubisoft has said that one of the reasons they want to go ahead and delay the game is in order to be able to get some polish going, which is very interesting because I guess that brings the question that no one has asked. So were they wanting to actually sell a game that was not fully cooked to us? And the answer to that will be definitely yes. I mean, judging by exactly the statements that have been made by their CEO uh, in terms of why they delayed the game. So because of the polarized discussion, we have now somehow dodged a bullet, which was supposed to be a busted game. Apparently, we're hearing reports that there were bugs within the game. And this thing would have basically hit your shelves in somewhere around a month and a few weeks or something like that. So that by itself was already a big challenge. It's already a quality issue in terms of, you know, the game not necessarily being up to quality. If you read Tom Henderson's report, if you even read the Ubisoft CEO statement and so on and so forth. Another thing, too, that we saw in terms of the game, you know, coming out and the reason they delayed it was because they wanted to go ahead and kind of step away from the premium model. So they're enticing people with, you know, getting DLC the moment they buy the game. So apparently this is DLC that probably was already complete because I'm not so certain that DLC that was not yet made is still being made from now till February of next year. That's not how DLC works. I remember developers from the division ecosystem saying that DLC is planned years out <laughs> before the game even reaches completion. They already know that this is DLC they want to do and they start working on the DLC. So that was more than likely already cut content that they were going to come back and sell to those who had the premium edition or those who wanted to continue the story and whatnot. But now they're saying, you know what, we're going to give it to everybody as soon as they buy the game. These indicators to me show that there were already technical issues that were going to basically be, shell, be, be, you know, be served to the people who bought the game. And then eventually they were going to go back and start working on them. But now with all of the issues and the pre-order, you know, numbers not being as strong and then the other games that were not, you know, so strong as well in sales, it seems like we're probably going to get a polished Assassin's Creed game from a mechanics perspective. Now, as to whether or not people are going to buy the game, that's a whole different conversation. And this is where I likened both this game's scenario right now with potentially Ubisoft as a publisher looking into what the possibility would be to take it the Concord route. Because Concord, I would never have believed, neither, I don't think anybody believed that Concord was going to get canceled. I think it was a shock for everyone. Some people probably celebrated it, but for me, it was a gen I was genuinely genuinely shocked about what, how in the world a game like that will get canceled with all the money that had been spent as well. That's another thing too, is the, 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 the money that was spent, you know, for anybody to think that that would be a thing, you know, at the end of the day, I would, I, I would never have bet on that, but it seems like Assassin's Creed shadows is almost in the same situation that Concord was in, in the sense that sure, there might be some people who buy it. There might be some people who want to play it, but for them to make a delay of this sort and then want to move the game to Steam day one, there's an indicator somewhere that the sales numbers are not necessarily hitting as much. From rumors, we've heard that they're actually a small percentage of what Valhalla had had around this time. So maybe they're going to see how it goes and then the game eventually comes out. But if the game is not going to be financially viable, it will be another huge, massive loss with controversy surrounding it and a potential market or multiple potential markets gone. A market in Japan and even a market with the fans that have actually voiced their concerns about the game. So, again, what is actually being, you know, considered right now and what is really hanging in the balance is the bread it's always been the bag and it's always been the money you can easily you know take an interpretation of stuff that's coming from the financial perspective with these businesses and you almost be on point every single time so what do you think do you think that this particular you know 
<laughs> do you think that this game, Assassin's Creed Shadow, should be should maybe go the Concord route? Do you think Ubisoft is going to consider it? Uh, do you think that it's something that, you know, maybe they probably need to go ahead and still launch the game, maybe get something out of it? Uh, or maybe by February, somehow magically, people would have probably changed their minds. And, you know, or maybe there's not a saturation of video games at the time, which is probably something that they're targeting. But again, there's Monster Hunter Wilds. That game is going to definitely put pressure on Assassin's Creed Shadows, even if they bring the game out February 1st, the Monster Hunter Wild is, uh, uh, is is still somewhere around the 20th. They're still definitely going to be in, a competitive and a market pressure at the end of the day. But I think it's all it's all uh, right now up in the air with the way Ubisoft is going with things that at this point, I, I just don't know how things are going to go. If you had told me that Ubisoft would make an Avatar game that didn't do well in 2017 when I first heard of it, I would have said you're crazy. I would have said you've lost your mind. If you had told me that Ubisoft would not continue with the Ubisoft Massive would not continue with the Division 3, almost immediately Division 2 came out, I'd have said that you are definitely needing, you know, some kind of medical checkup. And then if you had said to me that Ubisoft's Massive would make a Star Wars game that will put them in a really interesting position, I would have said you need to get off the internet. And then if you had said, oh, man, I mean, you see how this is crazy. If you had said that at the same time, within a few months of all of that, that an Assassin's Creed game will be facing financial, you know, turmoil as well. At that point, I would have thought that, you know, you have teleported me into an alternate universe, but we're not in an alternate universe. We're literally here on this timeline and planet Earth, and we're already seeing these particular challenges that they're facing left and right. And at the end of the day, it's just so strange because I just cannot <laughs> I just cannot lay my finger as to how this all, you know, pretty much came at the same time. You know, I think one thing people are not necessarily considering is how all of this is happening pretty much in the same window because Ubisoft used to be hit and miss and hit and miss or hit and hit and hit and miss. But this has just been miss, 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 miss. And it's quite peculiar at the end of the day. But like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll let you enjoy this gameplay from Gotham Knights. Like I said, thank you again. Peace out. do this quietly. 